Hi guys! So, my dad has another story to tell us. It is about a raccoon that used to live in our yard. So, Pa, tell us about the raccoon. And what he... Oh, okay. Tell wait, us wait, wait, what wait. he first did. Huh? When we first found out about him. What, how did we find out when about we him? We lived in Walden. At the bottom of the garage, I used to store a lot of stuff there, wood and everything like that, you know. It was, and it was open. It was it not was a closed open garage. Open garage. And I had my oil tanks in there and stuff. And one one day, I I, I seen this cool raccoon go in there, and I didn't think nothing of it. So I figured, you know, they go in there and come back out, and whatever. And he just hung around, hung around, so we started feeding. He climbed up on our porch. Actually, we didn't start feeding him, and we didn't really know about it. Something kept climbing up on the porch and tearing the trash apart. Uh, well, yeah, we were putting some garbage out there once in a while before we took it out. And something took But then we found out it was the raccoon, so we started feeding him cookies and stuff. And the funniest thing was we fed him Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> she ate so much, she just laid on the porch with half feet hanging over. Of course, she couldn't move. <laughs> she couldn't climb back down. Now, this deck was how and, high up? Huh? The deck was like eight feet up, right? The deck? Oh, it was like maybe uh, 12 foot. High? 12 foot high, yeah. So yeah. she would climb the post. She climbed up the post and, and up onto the deck. And... Then it would go back down and go in the garage again. So I think, you know. And then one day... Well, she would lay in our, our laps and we would pet her just oh, like yeah, a cat yeah. and everything. See, she, she became was, a she pet. She was nice, you know. And then she went in the garage again. And I didn't think anything of it until the dog was out in the backyard and the dog was by the garage. Well, she came out and then chased that dog away. I got the thing at Jeez, whoa, she must have babies in there. So I said, if that's the case, I better do something. I can't leave the dog running there because uh, she's liable to kill a dog or the dog kill her. And Well, she was bigger than the dog, so. Yeah. <laughs> and so what I did was I, I, where she kept going in and out, the, the one area track, like I set up a cage and I caught her in it. You know, uh, have a heart trap, and I caught her in it. And then I went back in the garage, and I well before I did set the have a heart, I built a big pen out in the backyard there, where I could remove it. You know, and I had it screened in and everything, and then a little bed area in the back, and then I caught her. And I kept her in a trap until I went back in and I found the babies. And I brought all the babies, I forgot how many it was. I think she had like about five or six of them. And I put them in the, the, the cage that I built for them. I put them in there and then I re it released her in. And she went right to them to make sure that they were okay. And of course then I had a spot where I could open up and slide in a uh, thing of food and uh, water and water for her, you know, and I didn't leave it for her to come out because I was afraid she'd do something to the dog. And then I took him to a, a guy I knew who had a, his yard was completely fenced in, top, sides, everything, and he had a bunch of raccoons in there. And he says he keeps them in there till they're old enough to go on their own, and then he sets them out later on. Uh, and told, so I gave them all to him, took them over there, and he put them in, and he told me, he says, if you want one of the babies when it gets able to leave the mother, I'll save it for you, and you can take it back home. And, and he says, they make good pets. But I figured, you know, with the dog, too, I said, nah, I, I, I didn't take one. Of course, he never told me that when I was younger because 
otherwise we would have had a pet raccoon. Yeah. So that's 